Hello everyone and welcome back to episode 11 of our slow and immersive playthrough of Empire of Japan and Hearts of Iron 4 Arms Against Tyranny. We're in April 1939, poised to attack China, having previously pressed the Marco Polo Bridge incident into a concession. We are now, you know, an inch deep into China, which itself is in the process of, I think it pretty much won over Yunnan. Still struggling with communist China. Uh, struggling a little bit with Xinjiang here. And they have beaten... Uh, what was this thing called? I keep forgetting. Zibei Sanma before that. So we're hoping their forces are A. Stretched thin across these fronts and away from our main invasion uh, direction. And we hope they've been exhausted a little bit by the fighting of the last about year or year and a half that they've been engaged in. We have an army of 20 divisions stationed here. Uh, 12 reserve divisions holding the west flank. We have 5 armored and, and motorized divisions here. Ready to spring forward and get uh, you know to the key supply point. We are unfortunately suffering out of supply penalties. But uh, we'll hopefully try to sort that out with uh, our air supply. Air transport airplanes. And we have an invasion... Kind of prepared for Shanghai once we start getting closer to here to try and uh, further uh, pull apart I guess the the Chinese forces uh, other than that we have three air wings of fighters three air wings of CAS here and another air wing of CAS in Beijing to maybe help our reservists here so we have armed our military with the 1940s so 1939 infantry equipment, we're almost done rearming. We have the 1939 artillery, handed out to everyone a good stockpile of it. Everyone's ready. We got the 1936 light tank with an anti-infantry kind of support cannon. So focused on breaking through the infantry lines. Uh, need to be a few more trucks. Uh, but otherwise, yeah, 1936 airframes. And we are ready. We are ready, pretty much. Uh... Yeah, so I guess the only thing remaining for us to do, guys, is first of all, actually, one thing I noticed at the end of last pressure is that for some reason aluminium stopped coming through. So let's go ahead and trade one factory for 38 aluminium from Chuko, our imperial protectorate. Uh, I think that's what they are, right? Uh, yeah, there. So, there, a puppet. Imperial Protectorate, yep. So there we are. And at the last episode, we've also done a lot of the research in the Navy. We've done the 1940 cruiser hull, 1940 carrier hull. And I think, you know, we were kind of going back and forth, or I was going back and forth, to be honest, whether we abandoned the London treaties. Only between 50 and 75% of Britain and capital ship strength. But I decided to go with cheat. We're going to cheat. And we're going to go to our production. We're going to design an aircraft 1940s carrier hull with four hangar spaces. Dual purpose secondary battery. And yeah, I think that's about enough. We will upgrade these to anti-air or maybe another hangar bay actually. We won't give I don't think there's any point in giving carriers any... Hmm, hang on, actually, 30 knots for the aircraft carrier, as opposed to, let's say, a destroyer hull. 34 knots. Well, that's 1936, but let's say cruiser. 1940s cruiser hull. 41 knots. So perhaps we really don't want to slow ourselves down with more armor on the carrier's hulls. Right? I mean, we should be well defended. Maybe that will cost us. So basically, from what I understand, it was easy to upgrade the modules. Right? What's hard to upgrade is the armor. I mean, it's only three knots slower. Perhaps we should. Yeah, but then we don't fit, so it's too late. Fine, if we really have to, we will retrofit. It's going to be expensive, but we'll do it. 
So this is our 1940s. 1940 carrier hull, Kai A. We'll call it. Uh, I don't know, I'll call it. Tokyo class. Right? T40. That's what we'll call it. So we'll get these. These are still under the cap. And we'll sneak these onto the allies. Let's go ahead and save this one. And then for the cruiser, 1940s cruiser hull. We have now also cheated on that. We'll put a medium heavy cruiser battery up front. A medium heavy cruiser battery at the back. Put cruiser armor 3, engine 3. We will put an aircraft spotter. In fact, we won't since we'll have to upgrade that anyway. So perhaps we put another medium heavy battery. No, that doesn't quite fit. We'll have to upgrade anti-air anyway. Fire control system we'll have to upgrade. Put a dual purpose gun here. Let's put the aircraft thing on here already. And perhaps... Repeater launch we don't want. Anti-air, secondary battery. Rapid fire guns. We don't really want light attack. But I guess anti-air which we will upgrade in any case in fact why don't we just remove it for now this is what fire control system okay so we'll put a fire control system we'll even remove this actually let's just make them as cheap as possible to produce so we can actually reduce the hull with the required armor and some of the guns uh, we definitely can't fit this right yeah we can't and we will just save this as the what class should it be what class Nagoya let's just go with that Nagoya class cruiser Nagoya class N40 H for heavy right this is a heavy cruiser we'll save that and we actually need to now go ahead and start Tokyo class carrier hull Reduce these. Nagoya class N40H cruisers. Have Yokosaka. And we need to actually start producing these. Right? That means we're going to take some things away. So if we reduce... Wow. So guys, my naval game is pretty weak, as I have said. Hang on. Five. Oh, we can't... Hang on a second. We can't put more than five dockyards on the same carrier. So we're only going to get it in 1947? Guys. I don't know. Surely that can't be. I thought you could put as many as you want. Oh, are you kidding me? No, wait. wait oh, wait. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Because they all went here. Hang on. Fine. Uh, hang on, hang on. Let's give everyone a one. This is what we need. Okay, 30th of November 1940. That's what we're talking about. So this is, okay, full speed ahead, five naval dockyards. Okay, we can't actually put more than that on the, these ships. Okay, we'll be producing one every, what, 18 months? Right, till April, that's 12 months. Fourth and 11th months, yeah. So every 18 months we'll be producing one. Fine. Uh, we'll see if we can improve that. Nagoya class N40H. Need two more naval dockyards. Let's go ahead and pair down our submarine fleet. We'll put five dockyards on this. Nagoya class N40H. We would produce one by April 1940. Okay, so one a year. Fine. Three then here. Okay, we need ten more. We need ten. We need fifteen more dockyards. That's what I think. One, two, three dockyards. We need dockyards right 
now. Okay, let's put this up there to repair. Then we're building this up. Okay, then we're Koshinetsu and Tohoku we're building up. Alright, Tohoku and Koshinetsu here we're. Like this is a good region to build uh, dockyards, given it's enclosed into kind of the inner, the inner part of our uh, great nation. Okay, so we're building two, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Fine, maybe fifteen is a bit ambitious. So let's build ten here, and we can then even add some infrastructure this thing actually this wouldn't hurt either okay so let's do this we'll put these down okay let's finish this factory and we get these naval dockyards cranked out fast okay that's gonna be I don't know how long it's gonna take but 10 extra, 10, 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 5. Okay, 10 extra naval dockyards. We got one carrier in, we have a second cruiser in. We shall have, okay, with one dockyard, we're constructing one by 11th of March, 1940. Okay, that's not, that's not really on, is it? So we kind of need three, I guess, right? Destroyers. Okay, let's just have four. One, two, three, four, five, six. We'll have four extra. Right, converted. Okay, we don't have enough steel, so these we should have three available. So why don't we... Why don't we... Carry a hull. Yeah, I want another T-40 carrier hull. Right. And I want five things in it, except I want it kind of towards the bottom. Once we fill out these and we're firing on all cylinders, we get another carrier going. Right. And these should be... These should be done soon. Right. Oof. We need more aluminium again. And we need more steel. Okay, we need to invade China. I mean, we should have invaded it yesterday. Okay, that's steel should be sorted. Let's just unpause. Okay, that's perfect. Okay. okay we're good for resources. Naval strategy has... Is up and running. So that's 1940... So then it would be 40, 41. So we should build four aircraft carriers and hopefully, what, two cruisers? Or two or four cruisers by 1942. But we'll, we'll keep improving on this. We'll keep improving on this. Make sure, yeah, okay, we'll have two unlocked. We're building 10. Maybe we throw in five more. Um, perhaps let's go ahead and just narrow this down to three and let's get down here and then we'll see we'll see how this goes we'll probably go to five once we upgrade these to 1940s variants so here we are so that's navy okay that's gonna just sorted otherwise our focus is we're doing first air fleet and then we're doing the zero and then we'll start producing that unmass and that will be a great fighter airplane 1940s airframe we need to also research the 1940s engine. I guess... Okay, unfortunately, our, our dash for the 1940s airframe was kind of useless then, basically. We, we've done nothing with that. And that's sad. That is really, really sad. But that's just how it is. We're upgrading our anti-air, upgrading our industry. We... Yeah. And a, a few of the last nail techs. Okay. We need more infantry weapon that will come. No template for interwar armored cars. We started producing those. 
outdated equipment, Mogami Zuiho class. Tokyo, yeah, well, these just need to get done. Unassigned divisions. Who are you? A green, okay, division of Minkuko. Assign it to our garrison forces. Not sure, okay. I mean, if you guys want, you can be assigned. Uh, hmm. Fine, let's just keep them here, even if it gives him a penalty. I mean, I guess I could simply give this guy a couple of reserves. Um, okay, unassigned. Okay, another unassigned division from Minkuko. I don't know what to do with you guys. You, sir, do you have a normal division? You do. Okay, you guys are going into the Marine Corps. And this Anasai division is going to Russia. Okay, let's go ahead and unpause. Let's just make this tick. Okay, collaboration government should be done 29th of June 1939. And that will be the day of the invasion. I think. I mean, how close are we to cracking their cipher? 93 days, okay. I mean, we can't be more ready, guys. Right? We've been... Kinda... We've been at this for a long time. Okay, we need 10 more for the air doctrine. Naval experience. Okay, well, we'll see what we do with these, but I mean... Centralized control. Okay, no, we need... I, I want the... Air mission efficiency. Now I want the ground support first. And then we'll get that. For the army, anything to get. Professional officer core. Army daily experience, daily command power gain, land doctrine cost minus 5%. Grant medal cost minus 50%. State serves the military. Tip of the spear for marines. Planning speed, daily command, command. Trenchment, rain will gone. Let's get professional officer core. We should have shouldn't have gotten that earlier. But we'll use that 5% boost to the experience to learn as much as we can from this Chinese campaign. Let's go ahead and speed up. Okay, we should be ready. Right, guys, come on, come on. That's it. Final months of preparation. 80 per day, guys. Let's go. Get all the infantry equipment out there. Communist threat receding. Okay. Once we open up... Okay, the supply situation remains... A little dire, to be honest. Improved your purple... Dual purpose battery. Done. Okay, advanced ship torpedo launch. Okay, we'll maintain one slot on improved light battery. Right, then we will, in fact, get onto better destroyers. We'll do that when we, without the penalty, I think. Submarines would also be very nice to upgrade. Passive sonar. Light ships or cruisers will help them to take the enemy submarines. Not a priority for now. Improved air catapult. An improved thematic mechanism allows much larger airplanes to be launched by a catapult. This increases their search radius. Ability to detect enemy ships. Okay, we have a... Mm -hmm. well, let's go ahead and get the field hospital up and running. Maybe that's a good one. We be mindful of our manpower. Let's give something to our infantry. 1939. But let's go ahead and do that. And then we have yeah, a couple, two dedicated to industry. That will be completed. And then we just go full Navy. And we need the little bit of Air Force. We need that engine for the Air Force. Okay, we're going to have to invest in that because we need to upgrade all of our all of our uh, 
close air support, naval bombers, etc. And just get those ready for those new carriers. Alright. Advanced machine tools ready. Let's go ahead. It's only slight Mitsubishi. Naval aircraft designer carrier close air support. Get this guy. Small caliber semi armor piercing shell or whatnot. Improved light battery. Task force carriers, cruisers, destroyers, pre military factories. Pre military factories from what? Exactly. Through here. For now. Let's upgrade those tanks. All of this. Okay, 29th of June. That's the moment we're waiting for. We've been waiting for it for a long time. Alright, this is episode 11. If I'm not mistaken, right? Yes, it is 11. It's 11 hours we've been waiting for this. About 12, actually. Believe me, guys, I am as keen as you are. Oh, come on. This guy's just... What is going on? Primary supply. Air supply. Mm hmm. Does that help us at all? Let's put. Let's get that last bit of air experience. For dive bombing. Dive bombing allows greater accuracy, but for best results, it requires specialized aircraft. Both able to slow their dives and survive the stresses of pulling out of them. Air support mission efficiency plus 20%. Alright. Okay. okay, they seem to be... Better supplied now, but on supply state is 34. I don't get it. We've upgraded the railways. What is the issue? It's just too many divisions in one province, right? As far as I, I think it's like basically one division is okay. Supply of hubs from Hebei. Two supply from state. Yeah, whenever it's one division, we're okay. It's when it's two, it's just too much. Yeah, let's see. Let's just, just get it done. Maximum attrition present, 1%. First air fleet. Let's go with the Zero. A new design by Mitsubishi may well prove to be the most capable carrier based air fighter aircraft designed to date. Unparalleled maneuverability, coupled with decent range, means that the design will likely last us for years. We should begin prototyping and production immediately. Let's go. Let's go, guys. Okay, and for our. Hmm, keep, still keep thinking, like, what do we get? Let's get electronics concern. I will have to build up the radar. Elusive gentleman. Non-core manpower. Foreign subversive activities efficiency. Damage to garrisons minus 25%. Hiroshi Oshima. Okay, let's get him. Conserve our garrisons. Prince of Terror. Fine. Okay, these should be pumped out pretty quickly. I like that. Okay. It's this unfilled imports. Aluminium from Manchukuo, we only get 30 now. Why? Why? What's going on, Manchukuo? You... Don't you, uh... Okay, Netherlands... Pay to the Netherlands, fine. We'll take it from you later anyway. Oh, and do we now have? Go. Okay. Okay, they have no forces on here. Shall we at least 
try to just advance into these mountains. Just to take the initiative. Or do we forget it? No, just, just forget it, right? Just sit here. Heels. Let them sit in these mountains, right? We'll be out of supply. Mm, yeah, we're still in hills. So that's fine. Alright, he thinks now it's a good idea. Perfect. Let's go. You ready? Yeah, he's very, very ready. Let's get one of our fleets. We're fitting in Kyushu, docked in Kyushu. Converted battleship hull. Patrol, strike force, convoy raiding, convoy escort, naval invasion support. Hold. Okay. Okay. Sub 29th of June. The day we've been waiting for. 134 days of fuel will be full, right? You will fill your fuel capacity. Okay. And yeah. Dispersed industry. Okay, actually, resistance is coming down. That's good. Okay, this is research, construction. Not a bad one to get, but we need the engine. We need all of this stuff. This is where we're all okay with, actually. Need more of the navy stuff. Okay, well, let's just get... Engineers would be nice. Recon would be nice. Right. Let me get that as we... Hmm. What are we... What are we researching generally? 81 days for the field hospitals. Okay, we'll have 49. We'll have these out soon. Now let's get our army. Get our army upgraded a little bit. So, 29th of June. Come on, completed. Outlook excellent, finished. Under cover of very adverse weather, our team found the previously scouted trail and proceeded across the border without further problems. The team has organized a number of reliable men, some with military experience, into small paramilitary units which will help in guarding the rear of our advancing army. The team escaped by crossing the border under the cover of night utilizing a local utilizing a local guide to help them find a way through the border defenses okay so increased collaboration in china 30 percent boom operation done 32 days All right fine operations ladies okay you have the passport right you go not Jing. okay let's start building the network again so then we're ready, right? I think... What we need is... I think we have a decision to escalate, don't we? Hang on. But wasn't there a... Abandon naval treaties, test the Soviets? Oh, or do we have to? Oh man, are we gonna have to wait to secure China? Right, we can't do this. You're currently focusing on the zero. China, more than 30% surrender progress. Hang on. Escalate tensions. Wasn't there? Marco Polo bridge incident. Unlock decision. Escalate the war in China. Naval treaties. 
operations, propaganda efforts, institute press censorship, prospects for resources. Oh, look at this. Add production of eight in South Sakhalin. What have we been waiting for? Oh, we need to do this ASAP. 25. Civilian factory use three for 60 days. Has research excavation three. Man. Need excavation three ASAP. Hmm. Okay, prioritize steel for guns. Anti communist sweep. Fine. Okay, how do we justify war goal? Conquer. Kidding me, how much are we gonna need? No, oh, just take claimed state. Shanghai. No, we just wanna conquer like the entire thing. Wait. Shanghai oh. Justify war goal, ask for military access, wait, offer docking rights, improve relations. Come on, we can't like escalate and just get him. I see. Resources. I mean, sure, I mean, all I really want, to be honest with you guys, is all the way up to here. Oh, I thought. I thought we could just... Shanghai, yes. 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 I want more. And power and war goal will cost you 54 and last 270 days. Okay, we need more political power. Oh, we just had like 200. Oh, come on. We're gonna have to wait. This is rather annoying, if I'm honest. I just want the whole thing. We just want to puppet you. No, justify war goal. Go shit market access. No, take claim state. 16 political power in the last 80 days. Oh. Sorry guys. A little hiccup. Develop Chinese resources. Strike South Doctrine. Unlock decision demand Indochina. Hmm. Or secure China. China, more than 30% surrender progress is at war with United States. China has capitulated. Okay, so we need to be at war with them to do this. Okay. Oh, this is rather frustrating. Okay, there is no other way. It's just a standard justify war, conquer. I don't want you. How do I get going? What we really want is to be honest. Right. Just keep the time running. What we really want is this. This is the good stuff. I mean, we want everything up to their capital. I mean, all of this they can keep, the desert. Alright, we basically want everything up to here. Or, at least, okay, they can keep the steel. Right? I want then everything up to... Up on the coast. Up to 
basically Wuhan or Changde and Chang Changsha. Right. Right, and then we defend these rivers. Yeah, so let's get all of this then. Right. Yeah, let's see how much, how much. Uh, oh, we can't. Okay, so we can't get more than five either. Is that right? Oh boy, this is annoying. Okay, well, at least we get this steel. We get the factories here. Yeah, I don't get it. I don't get it. One second. Okay, guys. Sorry, it's been a long time since I've declared kind of a justified war goal on anyone. Very long time. Let's go justify, then conquer. And we want Shanghai, Jiangsu, Xinjiang. Okay, come here. We want the coastline and the steel. All right. This is where they have the resources. All right. So we take these five. All right. We take the coastline. At least. That's really what we want. This is nice to have. Let's go ahead and send it to the... There you go. As soon as we're justified, we're going to war. The cipher for China is fully decrypted. Perfect. Intelligence Agency. Operations. G2 Department. Infiltrate. Okay, cryptology. Uh, the United Kingdom, please. That is the next thing we need. Okay. Okay, steel. We need more. Steel, we're not. Sweden. For now, three factories we gotta give up. Leave this. Trade with Minchuko. Okay. Construction. Okay, let's get all of this finished. Production wise. Okay, we are upgrading as much as we can to the 1939 equipment. Okay, we have a massive stock of artillery. We're producing three per day. This will be three per day. Let's put this down to two. A fair bit of equipment that will need to be four per day. It's four, that's 120. I mean, this is all good. Let's go ahead then and train. Four more. Just... Normal divisions, location set, Nagasaki, all right, so Kyushu, and four more of these, we will also, um, also need to edit our marines with pioneers, all right, so we can add a couple of marines and we'll add Combat support battalions, artillery. Right. Let's do that. Soft attack, defense, breakthrough. We will get motorized recon for them. We will get a field hospital for them. Okay, let's just get up to 65 army experience. Oh, fine, we can just drop this, save this, and start also training these, right? So this will give organization of 63. If we go ahead and save that, I want to train. 
How many men is that? This is manpower and 10,000. We have one division like that. Let's have... I would say... 3 times 3. So we'll trade 9. We'll have 10 marine divisions. Okay, deploy them in Hiroshima. That will be our marine corps. 100,000 strong. In preparation for future invasions down there. Right. So upgrades. Yep, we have upgrades prioritized. Minimum operations normal. Garrisons normal. Reinforcements should be on the highest. Yep. So let's go ahead and start producing this. Right. And we will need even more infantry equipment. Actually put the factories here. Hirohito angered by Chinese posturing. Those naive citizens of Japan who imagined the Chinese as a people of peace are entirely out of touch with reality. Those who live at our border do not have the luxury of such delusions, seeing their troops closing in on us just to cross it. This is a threat we cannot leave unanswered. With every passing day, China is preparing for war. It would be madness for us not to do the same. The Chinese military presence close to our territory has sparked increased concern as this nation appears more and more to be the enemy of the Taisei Yokun Sankai. Whether it has the cause or the effect of the polemic is a matter of contention. Regardless, we must get rid we must ready the people for war. Okay. okay we have Chinese available planes and reserves, unassigned Come divisions. Back. Where are you? Fine, just stand there. Fine, okay. We'll train then basically more Marines, more of the army. We're ready. Improved light battery researched. Communist threat receding, we're not sure. Okay, the Chinese have started moving towards us. Because the jig is up now. Magnetic detonated torpedo attack. Firefighting drills. Okay, this is all nice. It's all nice to have. Rather than must have. Mm, get the improved airplane catapult. Well, I mean, since we are here, might as well get the engineers, I guess. That's where uh, the war we have time before the war. So let's Yokosai Naval Arsenal. All carrier HP plus ten anti air and light attack. Fuel usage minus five. Requires all of the fire splinter protection. And this stuff. Okay, so one of these. Max speed fuel usage plus five. Max range. High speed cruising. Still range, I guess. Long range cruising. Okay. The Indian National Congress triumphs in provincial elections. In the recent local elections, the Indian National Congress has achieved an overwhelming majority for their, for their platform of slow and ordered transition to local government and dominion status in the future. It appears that Indians have rejected the more radical policies advocated by Gandhi, who had argued for a total break with Britain and absolute home rule as soon as possible. Did the votes really change anything though? Poland refuses German ultimatum. Wow. That's some big, big balls on these Polish peasants. Considering the demands, it seems inevitable. The Polish Peasant Republic would be forced to cede Danzig to Germany and a Polish Planning potentiary would be sent to Berlin to negotiate further terms. Maria Kosutska pointed to the German Reich's recent actions when stating that it was obvious Germany would not be satisfied with Danzig alone. German and Polish forces are prepared for war, and reports are already coming in of clashes on the border. Once again, there is war in Europe. Germany has ignored every warning. There is some big, big ones on this Maria Kosutska. Well, good luck, good luck. Holland, we'll see. 
Okay, zero has been researched. And anti-air has been researched. So for the anti-air, let's just get to the 1941. Put that on our ships. Let's unlock Osaka Army Arsenal. Put the production, production efficiency. Towed artillery. No, this is towed artillery, towed rocket. Okay, so production basically. Let's do rapid fire. No. Mobile limbers. Towed artillery breakthrough plus 10%. This is what we need. Uh, nothing we can do here, is it? Strike south doctrine. Fifth and cost reduction for naval doctrine. Unlocks decision demand Indochina. Though rich, China does not possess all resources we require. Mm, let's do this. Let's do this when we get our Marine Corps ready and our Navy. And now we can do yes, let's do this one. For too long have we been plagued by separate development of aviation between the army and the navy. We must unify these programs to ensure both uniformity of armament and better use of our limited research resources. Indeed. Okay. Let's speed ahead. I want this German Reich has declared war on Polish Peasant Republic, 24th of August. Naval Treaty abrogated. With the outbreak of war, the Italian government has officially informed the remaining signatories of the London Naval Treaty that, under Article 24, it considers the restrictions of the Naval Treaty to be no longer in the national interest. The Italian ambassador has therefore announced that the Naval Treaty will be suspended for the duration of the war. Whether the restrictions will return into force after the war is, rem is over remains to be seen. For the time being, we should con consider ourselves no longer bound by the treaty obligations when it comes to designing and building ships. It was a noble attempt to safeguard peace. Oh, guys, really? Now? Now you abandon the thing? After I spend 50 political power? And that nonsense? Fifth of February, nineteen forty-one. Now, Jeez. twenty-seventh of October, nineteen forty. Hmm. Basic small airframe. We have three hundred of these. A six M zero sen. Oh, sorry, carrier based. Oh. I thought zero, to be honest, with you guys was a ground, was a normal plane. The Polish Peasant Republic joined allies. Okay. So, where is the carrier? Basic carrier airframe. So, this guy. Air superiority. So, what does this exactly does it give? Special features, extra fuel tanks. Drop fuel tanks. So range of 1,000. Really? This is what we got? Really? For well, 70 days of a... Thing? Carrier aircraft? Really? Module? Hmm. 1,000 kilometers. I don't know. Basic carrier airframe, okay. Okay. to get this going already. But we are at least training these divisions. I 
Trying to fill import requests. Again, not enough aluminium. Netherlands. To buy more. Netherlands. Mitsubishi. Like speed and agility. Production efficiency. Fuel injection engines. Okay, September 1939. Mm. Sorry guys, I messed up with the war goal. I thought, uh, yeah, I was sure that the focus said we can escalate war in China. And I was under the impression that we had like one button click away from declaring war. I didn't think we'd need just the normal, you know, standard war justification. Blah, blah, blah. Shows what I know. Okay, fine. We're only getting stronger, though. Marines, too. Okay, we'll get that in a bit. Infantry equipment, soft attack. That's where it's not waste any more research time. Signaling company for our armor would be nice. Establishing maintaining communication in the field has always required special skills. With the advent of new communications and detection technology in the Great War, new possibilities for the practice lie ahead. Uh, initiative 10. The higher the initiative a unit has, the quicker it can reinforce into a battle, and the quicker it gets its planning done. Initiative also multiplies any coordination modifiers you may have. Nice to have, for sure. Get our amphibious tanks, though. That is also nice to have. We'll get the engineers, get the recon. Okay, we'll put one research, maybe a couple of these, to infantry again. We've got the anti-air. This will be locked in for anti-air. This is the engine. So, oh, okay, we might... Okay, maybe we should use this one for the navy then. Okay, this is a little bit ahead of time, but... We need to kind of redesign our destroyers, so let's go ahead... Let's go ahead and do the ahead of time. Oh. German pressure towards the Benelux. Following the breakout of war with France, Germ Germany has applied stronger diplomatic pressure than ever on the countries of the Benelux. With French and British backing, however, they are refusing to give in to the pressures. There is reason to believe that if the German Reich is unable to get what they want by diplomacy, they will take it by force. That would be an aggressive strike. Okay, we're going to... Yeah. Okay, again, Tokyo Arsenal. This is small arms. Soft attack, right? This is, yeah, our small arms. Reinforced stocks we got. Okay, we don't need defense, reliability, piercing, hard attack. This one, improved small arms bullet design would be nice. Soft attack and breakthrough. Or soft attack minus three, production efficiency. Now let's get semi-auto rifles. And then we get another breakthrough plus 6%. Production cost plus 8. That's fine, I think, for infantry equipment. Yeah. What else? Nissan. Okay, enough trucks have been produced. Breakthrough plus 3% for the trucks. Sure. Have we finally produced enough trucks, by the way? Yeah, we're finally in surplus. Good, good stuff. Ay, ay, ay. Okay. Let's get... Hiroshita questions Chinese sovereignty. Who determines the borders of a nation and who are they determined? And how are they determined? Whatever way people may have found in the past to justify where Japan ends and China begins, we live in a new era. The strategic importance of this border cannot be overstated, and we are well within our rights to shift it to ensure the continued security of our people. Listening to Hirohito's recent speeches, an invasion of China appears imminent. Dissenting voices have objected, but public support for war is on the rise. Let's go. Netherlands continues Zuiderzee works. A large-scale land reclamation project has been undertaken in the Netherlands, continuing a series. Let me just unpause this. 
series of such projects known as collectively as the Zuiderzeer Works. After the closing off of the Eijsmiller, the, the reclamation of the Waring Germir and the Nordus Top Holder, the project now focuses on the reclamation of the Levopolder, the largest area yet to be reclaimed from the sea. Though the full project will undoubtedly span many years, draining has proceeded enough that smaller areas are now already accessible and the benefits to Dutch industry are palpable. A brave gamble. Indeed. We need to demand Indochina from the French. That's what we really need to do. Okay, free dockyards. Why is that? Because we've stopped building destroyer, carrier, carrier. Yeah, let's go ahead and build the submarine again. To be honest though, why don't we go 1936 submarine? Torpedo tubes. Okay, mine lane warfare. Boom. Engine 2. Okay, we can't really improve on anything, but... Fine. 1936 submarine hull. 1936 submarine. Where is it? Carrier hull. Okay, we got two carriers in here now. Cruiser, 1936 cruiser, 1936 destroyer, this, that, okay, get this kind of done and then we can get another heavy cruiser line going. 1940s cruiser hull. The cruiser hull now, yeah. Now there's there are no limits anymore. That's fine. For, for now, I guess it's. This cruiser hull on there as well. I'm producing one of these. Yeah. Okay. So put outdated producing equipment. Goya Kai. Okay. Yeah, we are producing a lot of the equipment, 100 per day. Let's go ahead and upgrade our entire army. This is just reinforcements, right? Yeah. Basic close air support, we got a lot of them. Okay, that's fine. Let's just keep going. Proved carrier airframe. This is the 6-0. Carrier-based naval bombers. All of these need to be replaced. ASAP. Let's get the engine. And hopefully we have enough experience to actually redesign this whole thing. Okay, the four divisions will be ready by 18th of November. Okay, Yokosuka, the naval... The carrier aircraft is getting unlocked. Reliability air defense, reliability air defense, agility max speed, fuel usage max speed, range agility, range air defense, ground attack, air attack, or we get surface detection, max speed, range. Mm. Let's get reliability and air defense. Come 
Come on. Unified fighter development. Okay. We can actually still unlock this. They're not, they're not mutually exclusive, so that's kind of good. Um, long range torpedoes. Okay, torpedo screen penetration plus 20%. We'll do all this. Let's go strike south. Alliance with CM. How can we demand bypass the Philippines? Yeah, strike south. That will be demand Indochina. Let's go ahead. And France has got a lot going on. They should just give it to us. Deutschland siegt and Allen Frontier, the fall of Warsaw, 24th of August. I mean, they held one, two, two and a bit months. German forces advancing in the Polish Peasant Republic have succeeded in capturing Warsaw. Sporadic fighting continues in Praga and a few other districts, but organized resistance in the city seem, seems to have receded. The Polish government reportedly evacuated the city as the first German units entered Warsaw's suburbs and their present location is unknown. Fighting against the German invaders continues in other parts of the country, but the loss of the capital is a serious blow to the Polish war effort. Poland did not stand their chance for sure. For sure. Okay. Okay, unfortunately we're gonna demand Indochina and fight in China at the same time. Although, if we demand it and they give it to us, We'll land our mar marines here and push up into China and Guaxi from there. Okay, recon company upgraded. Perfect. Infantry. Okay, let's go. More soft attack. Okay, let's get all of this researched ASAP. 1940s anti-air engineers communist threat receding I don't think it ever existed hit this engine okay now 20 days and the engine will be here oh god guys unfortunately I think we have to make a cut here though we're coming up on the hour so we're gonna have to invade China in the next episode sorry for the anti-climax Polish Peasant Republic has capitulated. Okay, that's a good time to pause this. The Polish government has gone into exile and their main forces have capitulated to the German Reich, who is now in control of their home area. The struggle between the German Reich and the Polish Peasant Republic was only a part, a small part of the conflict. The war between the Axis and what remains of the Allies continues elsewhere. Okay. Uncertain times. Okay, let's get it to January 1940, guys. Oh, boy. The German Reich declared war on France. Perfect. German Reich is... I've never seen it so strong, guys, in my last, like, 10 games. Germany is on a roll. And what are we doing? What are we doing? We're just standing here holding our you knows what. The Netherlands joined the Allies. The German right declared war on the Netherlands. Christ. We're ready. Luxembourg. German right declared war on Luxembourg. Okay. Well, it's good. They all get sucked up in Europe there. I mean, soon. We just need... I mean, honestly, we need, like... Okay, f these four new divisions. Let's get them to the front. Need them of Italy join the United Kingdom. The Allies. Oof. Okay. They have a decent navy as well. Fine. Okay, we need to get China, though, right now. Okay, Marines... Okay. 
Okay. okay we are ready. I mean, the... Oh, Christ, just give us, give us the war goal. Give us... Engine 3. Okay. Engine 3 done. We'll design... Let's just go ahead, heavy machine guns. Heavy... Okay, let's go with Mitsubishi. Let's get these out. We'll design these in the next episode, guys. But let's just get to... That's fine. Let's just pause here, guys. Let's make a cut. And I mean, I promise. If we don't invade China in the next episode, I am deleting this channel. Or... I don't know. At the very least, I don't know. I'm ending this playthrough. We are invading China. Whatever. Whatever happens. We're invading it next turn. It's Mongolia. Supporting Xi'an Kang through a Lin Lease. Communist. Red. Okay, guys. Uh, yeah. Hope you enjoyed watching it. I'll see you in the next one. I think things are about to get very exciting very quickly. We will demand China. We will demand Siam. And then the Dutch East Indies. Okay, we're ready. So, thanks a lot for watching again, guys. And, yep, sorry for the slight screw up to be honest with the justify war goal but again i was sure we were one click one click away from this but it's okay it happens uh i'll see you in the next episode then bye